and welcome to my channel Scotland Mushroom Foraging and Fishing. Today we're going to do some blueberry picking and some mushroom hunting here at the Villa Forest. It's pronounced for its blueberries and chanterelles. So last time we've been here there were no sign of chanterelles yet so we found some bokini. So let's see what it brings today. So yeah, join us and we update you soon. Well, it's a gorgeous day today, sunshine and tomorrow back to rain, so yeah, it's dried out nicely. So what are we going to find today? Uh, maybe some kind of or, I don't know. Maybe. Bokini? Or maybe. Bokini? Uh, yeah, maybe some. Well, let's see what we find. So let's not make any pr prediction. Okay, let's, first we go here in the fir tree forest and and see what we find here there could be a chance of bay bullets which i found last year here some birch birch tree red caps so uh, let's see what what we want to find today there's a big group of mushrooms here i don't know what they are i see them quite often so i don't know if they're they're not milk caps so uh, next to the pine tree and this is a uh, I don't know what it is let's see if it produces any milk no no, no idea okay let's keep searching yeah we have some yellow rustlers some young ones these are edible they can be a little bit sharp but these are edible but I normally I, uh, I don't take them they're not my taste. Ah, nice find. Uh, yeah, there's another rustle over there. That's a pink one. And normally pink means very sharp. So we leave that alone and see if, what else we can find. Still no sign of chanterelles. Okay. Still early days, and uh, yeah, let's cut across here. Huh? Oh, what's this? Here? Summer has been here. Yeah. That's been cut. That could be. Uh, looks like a bay bullet. Um, I thought it was a leaf. At first. Yeah, that's been cut. So someone's been here. Yeah, we're not the only ones. Yeah. So we carry on with the hunt, and speak to you later. Yeah, here's our first. Bay bullet, nice fresh. Oh yes. Nice. You can see brown stalk, brown cap and tubes are starting off white yellowish turning yellow. Nice one. Here yeah, another young bay bullet. Beautiful. And there's another one. Nice. So they are coming out. Can you turn it? Yeah, turn it, turn it Nobel. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, and then close the hole again. Yeah. yeah close the hole. Why? Yeah, close it, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Oh, the cap just came off. But uh, well, yeah, nice ones. Uh, here can you can see some fold chanterelles. You can see they look like chanterelles, but they have gills, and the stalk is much softer and thinner. And yeah, it's more floppy. There's some more hiding over over there. I don't know if you can see it. So. Yeah, so if you're out for chanderelles, make sure you find ridges, not gills. Yeah, here we have some stink horns, which are just about to open. So, nice to see, but not what we're after. <laughs> here we have, I think, what it is, it's the... Pan, pan, panther mushroom 
it's either the panther one or his brother one is edible and the other one is absolutely poisonous so from this I can't really determine what it is so that's why I leave them alone there's some more here uh, let's see oh it's quite deep uh, Yeah, I, I don't know. Can't really tell. I think the bull transition is quite smooth, so it could be the edible version. So, but I'm not sure. That's why we're going to leave this alone. Then we have Salva Tuft over here, which you can quite determine on the yellowish, greenish. Are those very old ones? Yeah, there's some old ones. Some more over there. What oh, there's that, some. Is that sugar wood? What's this here? Where? Huh? Oh. Open. oh, I don't know what that is. No idea. It's got pores, but I don't know what that is. Over here we have a, a blusher. You can see already a blusher. You can see in the color. It's got more brownish than white. And so, yeah, blusher there. Okay. I see. Let's, huh? You see something? Okay. Yeah, that, that could be the panda pills. Yeah. But here, see, well, I don't know why people live rubbish in the, in the forest. Uh, no one's looking at them. Here we have a, a yellow type fungus. Don't know what that is. So, okay, that's not what we're after. Yeah, weird. Okay, we keep you posted. Yeah, here we found some, what do you call them, hinder pink next to a pine tree. They love growing next to a pine tree, but these are already a bit too old. Lovely that we haven't got any smaller ones here. Nice to see, nonetheless. Let's carry on. We found our first chanderelles. Yippee! Not many, but first ones. And uh, yeah, let me have a closer look. Yeah, they're very distinctive color, the stem, quite hard. Yeah, and you can see they've got ridges rather than gills. So, yeah, nice find. Let's collect them and then find some more. Yay! Hey, hey. <laughs> Nobody found a birch red cap. Wow! What a monster! And it's one tiny slug bird. Yeah, it's, it's quite firm. Oh, so yeah, let, let me just cut the stalk yeah. and then see. Yeah, it looks big for Yeah, okay, let me just cut the stalk. <laughs> yeah, that's a birch red cap. Okay, let's put it just on hold for a minute. Yeah, unfortunately, the cat under the cap you can see has already been eaten, but the stalk is fine, so we can take the stalk and we just leave the cap there so it can release the spores. Right, we can be updated. Take a picture of it like this. Yeah. Yeah, there's an, another rustler. And. But it's already, already yeah. soft. Yeah, it's a hint of pink. And I'm just going to cut it and see how far yeah. the maggots are going up. Yeah, this one looks quite good. Not too many maggots in there. Yeah, hint of pink. Nice. Yeah, there's another bullet. Which I think... Sorry. Yeah. I have to try that one. A mild mushroomy taste, but I gotta put the name up in, in the corner because I don't know quite sure about the English name. But yeah, it's a mild, mild taste, so it's not peppery. So, so yeah, nice edible one. I leave the name in the 
in the corner somewhere. Wow, what a beautiful fly agaric here. Just came out of the ground. Look at these colors. Beautiful. Huh? This is what they look like in the books. <laughs> in the fairy tale books. Lovely. Slippery Jack. Yeah, very, very uh, slimy on the top. Yellow, yellow tubes. And you can see the covering. Yeah. All right. Next one. You blueberries in the bucket. The boat, the boat, How many you got? Um, Tara was picking here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Here's another nice bay bullet. Just tucked there by. By the stem. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. Yeah, nice. There you go. Oh, it's ginormous porcini, and uh, no, nah, it's, it's already been eaten inside. I can see it's quite soft. But we're not going to take it out. Yeah, this is quite soft. No, it's nothing to keep. But yeah, things are growing. A bit too late for this one. Well, we keep looking. Right, we're near the end of our walk and hunt for mushrooms. Yeah, we, we got quite a few. So, uh, found the target, which were the chanterelles. Found the slippery jack, rustlers, bay bullet. Uh, yeah, so it was very interesting. So, I gave you another closer look with all the mushrooms at home. And yeah, thank you for watching and join us next time with Scotland mushroom foraging and fishing. See you later. There, there they are. <laughs>